So I'm going to be showing you how to make an amazingly delicious vegetarian snack. It's called Gato Pements. I might not be um, pronouncing it correctly, but it is a Mauritian street food. And first thing I'm going to do now is I'm going to take a cup of lentils and I am going to soak it in water um, overnight. So I'm actually only going to make these tomorrow, but I thought I would show you the lentils and introduce Gato Pements to you today. one cup of lentils soaking in some water and this will be ready for me to make the gato or gato yeah gato gato's gato gato uh ferments tomorrow morning So it's now the next morning and this has been, the lentils have been left to swell in the water overnight. I'm going to pour off the excess water and then I'll show you what I do next. So this recipe, I think it's actually probably vegan, um, not just vegetarian. So it's the one cup of lentils that are soaked in water overnight and um, you're going to need some cumin and half a teaspoon of cumin. You're gonna have one onion that you're gonna slice, chop up very finely, half a teaspoon of salt, two chilies. I'm just gonna use these dried chilies that I'll chop up, and a quarter teaspoon of baking soda, and then about two tablespoons of chopped coriander leaf. So what I'm going to do is I'll prepare the onion and the coriander and then this, uh, the lentils, it's going to go into my blender, which I will attach to the power station um, to turn this into a paste. Once it's turned into a paste, I will add all the other ingredients and then I make little golf balls which you deep fry and that that's all honestly easiest ever and this is like traditional Mauritian street food right onion is chopped up coriander is chopped up and chilies are chopped up obviously depending on how hot you want it you can add as many chilies as you like if you like it extremely spicy but I think that should be enough now to spoon the lentils into the blender to turn it into a paste. So with this recipe, you don't add flour, you don't add eggs. It's just the lentil and those other ingredients, lentils and the other ingredients I showed you. Easy as. Just put this all in so we can make it into a paste.
as you can see, this is turned into a paste. And I'm going to put this into the mixing bowl now. So you now have the paste that you've made. And to that, I'm now going to add um, a quarter teaspoon baking soda, half a teaspoon of cumin, half a teaspoon salt, and the chopped up onion, coriander, and chili. So just a quarter teaspoon. Pop that in. Half a teaspoon of cumin. Half a teaspoon salt. And then all the chopped up onion, coriander, chili. So I'm putting this in. And I just mix it together. So you can see all mixed together. So depending on how stiff the paste has come out, you can form them into golf balls, but this is actually just going to be easier to drop dollops of this into hot oil. And then it's going to be ready. That's how easy it is to make this. So just get yourself a plate with some kitchen towel on, paper towel ready to... Um, Put them on after you take them out of the hot oil. You can see here I'm just heating up some oil in my wok and um, I'll be dropping dollops of them in. Fry them until they turn golden brown. Um, you can have a pot with deeper oil in that you're not going to have to turn them over, but I'm doing them so that I'm going to turn them over. So as soon as they're golden brown on the one side, then I'll flip them over and cook them on the other side.
vegan cooking. Oh my god, you did? This is Mauritian street food. What's Mauritius? What is that? Mauritius is Mauritius is a country. It's an island nation off the coast of Africa. It's like a. Is it a Mauritius? Could be. Yes. With the blue water and stuff. Yes. And so this is. So these are the finished ones that um, are going to be ready to be tried. So nothing better than homemade sweet chili sauce to use to dip these ghetto permits in. So always time for the taste test. <coughs> Mmm. This is exceptionally good. I now, can, if I look out the window, instead of seeing cold, overcast skies and uh, windy weather, I can actually see the beaches of Mauritius. Mmm. Mm. So, Kim. Is trying but the spice is just hitting her now but it's not that spicy it's just a little bit of chili but i'm not a spice person but it's really nice it's just a little bit why is this so spicy <laughs> it's not so spicy i could have made it more spicy but it's nice it's a nice no eggs no flour so easy to make just with lentils it's beautiful it tastes really nice but then in the in the in the end the spice is in the back of my mouth the, the, yeah, but the uh, sweet chili sauce calms that down. It calms it down. Yeah. Now well, it's not spicy. I'm just not a spice person. That's what it is. Yeah. yeah. But you can make it a lot more spicy than this. I d underdid the spice because I knew you wouldn't want spicy. 